Alright, we are back to the beginning of the list for our type challenges. Seeing as Fairy got smushed by End Boss. Hey, I like a turbo. We're back at the start of the list. We already have succeeded at normal, so fighting is next. Pure power you. Except you've forgotten what moves you're supposed to have. That's better. Mm. Probably special attack at him, because everyone else is going to be physical. have a good option for that. We'll have to make do. Oh, do you have your egg moves? Yes, you do. Good. The game hasn't dropped your egg moves. I wouldn't mind Horlucha. Sure, why not Horlucha then? Isn't Floaty Fall just worse than... Uh, it's only a 5% miss rate. Yeah, alright. I don't have a good speed nature, nor do I have a good attack nature. I guess we'll make do with Naughty. And is there another two anywhere? They're Scraggy. You should obviously be Moxie. And Adamant. Alright. Let's -a go. Money coin, fantastic. Actually, Lua, we are going to need lots of experience. Lua Lua. Good. Oh yes, I should open my notepad. So that we can note down Rivals Mons once we get to her. Kick. Mm. Double Iron Bash. Mm. Yep, Double Iron Bash wins. Defense Booster. Just before fighting the rival. Evil Cat is actually a... Uh, Fire Cat is a good matchup. Because it means they're going to become weak to our team. Eventually. Take the free potion. Kill the chonk? We can't. Get out of Thunder Kicks. 
well. Oh my. Heal up for Lucha. We will do the Hokey Pokey to try and start making Riolu love us. Lovely. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, that's much better, actually. One, two, three. It is a bit sad that it's spoiling our moxies, but what are you going to do? We need to do the hokey pokies. Not during double battles, that's a bit too much. Nice punch. That is pretty nice for Metatite. <clears throat> anti Rayquaza and anti normal dragon tech. Metal Claw is just worse, Double Iron Bash. And then goodbye, Blonde Diglet. Hmm. Pee pee up, Berry. Triple Axel. <laughs> Lua. Mm. I guess the flying one. Tight. Take the Pokeball. Although, realistically, we're approaching the point where... Aerial Ace is better than Wing Attack. We don't have it. We're approaching the point where we don't really need any more Pokeballs. Because we only need to fill up two more team members. And I would also like a basic potion. Thank you. Game tries to tempt me with a Ziggy. Sorry, your saintliness. You're not allowed. No encore. And we hit the level cap just as we're exiting the zone. 
just, 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 just as we're exiting the zone. No faint. Yes, Nugget. No counter. More lure, though. If both target the side arc, I think Riolu can actually help. Yay! Yay, Riolu! is still not yet a uh, evil cat. No feather dance. No sand attack. And she has Pidgeot. Sure. And the new team member is Pinsa. Force Palm. It's not as good as Thunder Kick, so nope. I guess a Hone Claws would work. We don't have to worry about Hawlucha missing. Work up is better than faint when you have quick attack. Special defense is probably scraggy. I don't want Riolu to get hurt, so run away. Lucha defeats the evil Flamingo. Now do we add Flamingo to the team? <sighs> we probably should. Rip. Facade is terrible. I absolutely do not want Facade. Facade makes you eligible for the stupid poison. Brick Break is Stab. Hmm. Yeah, I think no to Brick Break for the moment. Deserves rare candy. That would be Metatite. No Psybeam. This is a Riolu enemy. Well done, Riolu. You beat a magic car. Might be able to beat this. Good. No rock smash. Citrus berry, yes. Potion, yes. Think of it as spending money to make Riolu evolve. The 
speed drop we had only counteracts the uh, speed raise we had from Steadfast, so we're safe to stay in. Potion. Thunder Kick. This rate, Riolu is gonna love us by the end of this fight. Oh, we're out of Thunder Kicks. <clears throat> well then, Double Iron Bash. No Protect. No Vacuum Wave. Actually, sucker punch in. Or bullet punch, sorry. Same difference. Speed boost. still faster, but that was a bit iffy. Potion up. Take the speed boost berry. It is time to swap out. Maybe Scraggy? Instead of Sucker Punch. No bounce. Yes, we will take the Ultra Ball. And High Horsepower Sir Bridgington. And again. No, I prefer what we've got, even though that's stab. We've already got too many mons with miss moves. Basic Potion. Continue boosting Double Iron Bash. What time of day is it? Is it morning? Ugh. Yeah, it won't be. It will be morning fairly soon. Okay. Kill. Wooey, we can rent a car. Sorry. <laughs> you have to be one, you have to be almost a two year old to rent a car in America? Somehow I would think that cars should only be rented by... Okay, you're conflating months to years. Fair enough. Yes, we will get rid of that for jump kick. We will accept the miss chance.
A real 23-year sub seems ambitious. I'm aware of some, like, 11- and 12-year ones <coughs> out in the world, but that's about as high as I know of. We will revive because it's about making Riolu love us again. I hate Emolga. <gasps> Good riddance, Emolga. Beat up? No. Yeah, we can have a couple more nice Pokeballs. All going so good so far. Mix, mix. Nice miss from Aerodactyl. I wonder how it knew I was going to use a ground move. Hmm. It's quicker. This is horrible. Training this Riolu up is being so expensive. I think the Meditite, because we get double double value out of it. Yes, Thief Stay. This is fighting. Everyone is punchy punchy. I don't think swapping into Meditite is necessarily great. by Amolga. At least she doesn't have a bloody magneton like Watson. It's a levitating one. Well, goodbye, Holucha. Bloody menace. Bronze gongs. Brick gets stab, unlike Headbutt, so yes. 
expensive to bring these guys back, but we kind of have to. Hail, Goka. Welcome, Goka. I've already closed my phone tab, so that's fine. I don't have to go do that. <clears throat> okay. Who does this go on? Probably Horlucha. Try to Thunder Kick. And Thunder Kick. Is it morning yet? Nope, it's still night time. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yes. Hi, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Heal up. Take the nugget. And good day, Bubba. Lumberry. Uh, I guess we'll put on Riolu then. Phew, I thought it might make us slower than him. Lutra is the winner at the moment. We do want Swords Dance. And we just live with the mischance. Firecat should be fully evil now. And so weak to Thunder Kick. I doubt we're quick enough. Yeah. But I didn't want to take damage on the switch in, so <clears throat> Riolu's just going to have to hate us a little bit for letting them die. Enemy is letting our Moxie power up, which isn't really a wise idea. Metatite becomes Metacham. your new thing. We haven't seen your new thing yet. Scraggy evolves. Everyone except the dead Riolu is evolving. Now you really... Do I get rid of this for that? Yes. Yes, we accept 5% more mischance. 30 more base power. And we just cry when we miss. Stupid levitating ones. Now, in theory, this should go to Metacham. Yeah. His attack's almost as good as the Horluchas, and then it gets doubled. Crafty to get a kill. In case there's a second doubles fight. Take the accuracy. I don't have to worry about HJK missing. Crunch is better than Thief. Dire hit is fine. HJK. Okay. My 
hate Staraptor. Kill the bird. Okay, Riolu accepts that it loves us enough to evolve. Wants to learn Hadoken. It may well learn Hadoken. <gasps> IV scanner, kind of pointless. We have caught everything that we would want to catch for the most part. While the accuracy boost still up, we should keep high jump kicking. Probably the defense booster. Absolutely high jump kick, kick Chungus. No heal pulse. Nugget. Okay, now that's extra risky, but we just live with it. He says, and they swap to a ghost. Triple Axel. Axel. The big brain AI. <clears throat> They're trying to tempt me into it again. But this time they don't have a ghost to swap into. No, you're not tanky enough to use recover Metacham. And a crit. Moxie crit high jump kick. No sky attack, two turn moves can go die. Potion up. Potion up. And swap to others. Because Walucha is full. Hadouken! Now Scrafty wants jump kick. Am I willing to trade 10% hit chance for almost double the power? Yes, yes I am. You want Meteor Mash. No. Because this is 120. 100. I'm not trading that for 9090. Berry Pouch. Hadoken. Now we have to keep our eye out for nice uh, memory mushrooms and TMs for Lucario. We would like to get Dragon Pulse. Maybe Dark Pulse. Dragon Pulse. So we're going to give up Swords Dance as we transition more and more to Special Attack Lucario. Final Gambit is a Special Attack, you say. Special Fighting Quick Attack. We already got Ice Punch via TM. Do we want Fire Punch? It's not the best base power, but it is some more magical coverage. Yeah, I care about that more than Bullet Punch. Karate Belt to who? I think objectively it should be on you. Boost the biggest number by percent. Percent boost the biggest number and you get an even bigger, bigger number. Mm. 
Yeah, black belt's a nice get. Especially considering we have no pickup. Right, we're not going to be drowning in bonus boosters. They are going to be few and far between. E speed. I don't really need Thunder Kick if I have Aura Sphere, so yep. No. No. But I want you to have Swords Dance. Take the nugget. Nice crit, Lucario. Yeah, the motorcycle and the upgraded motorcycle got new passives. <laughs> we do need more experience, so we will accept the lure. No focus punch, no counter, no axe kick, you've already got high jump kick. Speed boost. Iron crush you. And I guess you... Just jump kick the tree? No close combat, you've got Hadoken. Speaking of which, Hadoken. We need to heal up Scrafty, but we get offered a potion to do so. It was a trainer fight, Rolling Ninja. Trainers can have pretty much anything anywhere. Yeah, there you go, you caught up. Hey, Ultra Vegito. Here, settings, display, and at the very bottom, type hints. Dual wing beat? Mm. No, it's not better than high horsepower. Arguably, maybe it should get rid of high horsepower. <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. Not interested. Heal up Scrafty. Dragon Energy Beam. You've been to the island exactly once. Just keep looping around the water. Like the lake, sea, ocean one. If you loop around that enough times, eventually you will fall into the island. <laughs> Opportunist. I don't actually remember that one from... By heart. Dragon Pulse. Opportunist. Boop. Oh, the Alakazam thing. Okay. The Mega Alakazam, I steal your stat boosts thing. Well, I copy your stat boosts.
Doo -doo. Dragon Pulse. Okay, and then an E-Speed finishes that. Well done. Thank you for trying to trying to tell us, though, Ultra Vegeta. Very kind of you. Head Smash. Do I get rid of Bullet Punch for that? No. Nice flinch. Yeah, I'm seeing literally zero dropped on my end, so... It's either you or Twitch. All I can suggest for you is hitting refresh. Check you're not throttling your internet elsewhere. Sucks to be you, Tangela. Lucario pulls through with no hit points to spare. Mm. Okay. Nugget. Something is supposedly interesting about this Blossom, so I should bother to try to capture it. Is this your fifth splicer? Yeah, what floor are you at? Careful might be better than some of them. Well, that's less impressive. Still pretty good. But it's not as if you have five within 200. What notifies you they are special? The little color of their Pokeballs, Thief Stay. I'll show you when we get into the next wild bonfire. Maybe Horlucha? No. Heal up. Move the item off Blossom. Oh, they used their item? Good for them. Night Akaturbo. So you'll notice that under the... Directly above me, the Lurantis's name, underneath it is a bright, shiny Pokeball. That means that I've already captured that combination of Pokemon, gender, form, nature, ability. Whereas if we get something that has a greyed out Pokeball, then it means one of those things is something that I am yet to have captured. Take the comeback to life egg, probably for Medicham. Super Potion up. No, I'm not healing Blossom. So let's see if we can find one. No, even the Shed Ninja is... Uh, we have nothing that hurts you. I guess Crunch? Take the rare candy. Apparently, Horlucha is the winner. Yeah, I'll try and dance once. Make up for our rather hideous speed, Crunch. And now we can probably sweep with Moxie. Crunch. 
Well, not against you. You definitely are faster in the rain. Yes. Crunch. Crunch. No static. Good, no static. And in a single fight, Scrafty has pushed themselves to the level cap. You like Moxie. Yeah, Moxie's lovely. Maybe handed out a bit too freely these days, all those bloody beast boosting things. Used to be reserved for big strong dragons. Yeah, I guess I'll take the potion. Crunch. It's cool that the wee little mons can become monsters. Bullet punch. Don't give it a chance to take another move, because somehow... Speedy, speedy monkey. Heal up Scrafty. Crunch. Oh, it's a new zone, that's how. We haven't dragon danced yet. Experience all. Crunch. Crunch. Normally you'd be murdering to find a scissor like that in the wild. No use to us, though. Now, the other thing to keep in mind isn't the next fight a uh, rival one. Yep, 95 is a rival. Rival has Firecat. Who do we want to be against Firecat? I think Scrafty is okay. I'm okay with leaving Scrafty out. It double resists Firecat. Ow. I didn't think Bullet Punch would work there, but... Worth trying. Okay. We need to bring back Scrafty for the rival fight. Lucario isn't a terrible person to lead with. They're not great, because Cat nominally has fire. But maybe that makes her leave Cat in. Cat has given up being evil. Oh, that's terrible. Well, Hadouken, and then you die to cat. Triple Axel. Again. You did a really good job of taking that, actually. High jump kick. You're made of glass. Break the window. High horsepower again. We are faster than Wrestler Cat. And Moxie is aggregating. As it stands, because of Moxie, I could kind of afford to get rid of Swords Dance. For more coverage. Hmm. I 
What would I want? Mooluch is pretty fast. They are our fastest mon. Maybe Flying Press? Feels wasteful to have that and high jump kick. Mm, Aerial Ace is too low power. We'll keep our eye out. Ooh. We will keep our eye out for Dual Wing Beat. Again. Do we want Calm Mind Lucario? No, your special defense is garbage, friend. Well, it's not garbage, garbage, it's just not great. Speed boost. Kill plant. What if there was a mode that you get to play as a gym leader? But you have to catch their team, and when you get to the point where you'd usually fight them, you find an AI trainer that takes the place of the main character. Seems a little elaborate, but otherwise okay. Because I don't think we've ever really used Swords Dance on Holducha. Yep, I'm going to get back Flying Press. It might mean that sometimes it's not actually useful as a flying move. There's a Fire Red mod where you play as a gym leader. Realistically, I should have actually let Horluchi get that. Take the die hit. Here we go. An actual use for flying press. Do do do. This Grand Bull is supposedly interesting. So we put the effort into trying to actually capture it. We succeed. Potion back up. Grab the nugget. Punch Buffalon. And again. There's a ROM hack where you play as Team Rocket and you steal everyone else's Pokemon, like Colosseum. Ghost Birdie. Ice Skate on Ghost Birdie. Special Attack Boost. Don't risk the miss. Or at least minimize the miss chance. Let's check this out. That's like... 350? 
And the next best attack we have is 200. So yes, we will keep drugging Metacham. Less mischance. Same again. That should kill. Now Moxie is full powered. We fear the Kaladin, so we bring out the big gun for that. Back to high horsepower. Again, minimize our mischance. And flying press, minimize our mischance. Potion up. Experience charm. Flying press is okay ish. After Moxie, it doesn't really matter. My sheeple. Someone might prefer that as their nature. No. I mean, maybe Grand Bull for the future. It's not like any of these other things do anything for me, so sure. Future Grand Bulls might have more options. Mark Punch with a 4x resist. I've underestimated the B before and then had it pollen puff destroy stuff. So I give the B more respect than its sort of tiny body would imply it might want. So it's fairly fast and stab pollen puff does nasty things. Everyone is at the level cap. Probably jump kicks. I'm actually going to do a triple axle for end boss. A second super lure. We certainly aren't going to be wanting for uh, enemy experience. Venusaur. If all of these suck, they at least suck the same amount. Go with Flying Press. I kind of respect you. Big miss. Next jump kicker. Thank you. 
Do not respect Doofus. Take the pity revive. Yes. They're like Russian frontline infantry. One has fallen, send in the next one. Easily got enough Pokeballs. You target the Gokart, you target the Doofus. around Scrafty slowness. We've got to take the, the fighting booster. Mm. No, just the potion. Surprisingly tanky. You flying press the watchhog, you crunch the psychic. Ow. Nugget. Oh, there's different. There's different, um, get-ups for Meowstic. Accuracy boost. Now I don't have to worry about high jump kick missing, so we can go high jump kick bananas. How did we get- we just got offered two super lures. Just Jesus. <laughs> Randomly, that's all. Do people know how many different types of Pikachu? Yes, yes people do. Now me, I'm not people. Boop. My suggestion, Rolling Ninja, you want info on this game? There you go. That'll give you all the info on how many of something there are. We look up Pikachu. There is Pikachu, Giga Pikachu, Normal Pikachu, Partner Pikachu, Pikachu Cosplay, Pikachu Cool Cosplay, Pikachu Beauty Cosplay, Pikachu Cute Cosplay, Pikachu Smart Cosplay, Pikachu Tough Cosplay. But it's red. Red is a better colour than yellow. Scrafty.
Until we're actually using Metacham, we should have the boosters on someone who makes use of them. It means that it's the ones from Pikachu and Eevee Let's Go. Lucario is the next fastest. We have got the accuracy boost, so we can afford to jump kick, jump kick. This is the last fight with the bonus accuracy, so I might as well make the, uh... You got the partner, Eevee. It has better base stats. It has a hundred higher base stats than normal Pikachu. It's slightly better at everything than normal Pikachu. Its special power is to be a top 1% Pikachu, functionally. Does it have better stats than Gigantomax 01? Mm, yes, yes it does. By 10. But they're worse spread. So you'd probably prefer the Gigantomax 01 unless you really want speed. It has Levitate? It's a levitating car. Why not? <laughs> Flying cars are the future. And the future is now. High horsepower, the one that doesn't fly. Crunch the other one. Okay, Garbador kills his friend. It levitates in the vanilla games. I don't remember it levitating, but... I only remember that one really obnoxious fight with it in that... The boss lady that has it in the, um... The, like, not Team Rocket, but functionally Team Rocket. The We're Legally Distinct Team Rocket people that has it in the, um, their little base thing. I guess I'm taking the Egg Voucher. Triple Axel. Team star fights are hard if you do them in the pro Yeah, they were tough. I think we had to take three attempts at beating that car boss person. While our friend is busy showing up and making phone calls and pretending not to be who they obviously are. Or was it the... Or was it the... It might have been the... Maybe it wasn't our friend. Maybe it was the... The headmaster of the school. But there was someone clearly pretending to be not themselves. And it was super, super transparent who they were. Like, painfully transparent. Are we supposed to pretend we don't know who you are? Mm, 
I kind of want the citrus berry. The trash took itself out. Why can't you teach yours to do that? No, you levitate, friend, right? Yes. Free potion? Don't mind if we do. Normal potion for Scrafty. Mega Bracelet, okay, we have got a Lucario. Oh, I didn't use a rock move. That's that whole bird's shtick, is pretending that it's a rock type. And it didn't do it. Neutralizing gas is okay, because it tells you about it when it comes out. So I don't mind neutralizing gas so much. Go straight for the jump kick. KO or nothing. Now I don't think I need to risk the miss. Again, I don't think I need to risk the miss. Okay. Easy peasy. Now, we do need more team members. Granbull, go away. Blossom, go away. How do I not kill you? Probably with an extreme speed. Ow. I think everything Metacham has- well, Fire Punch might not kill. Welcome to the team. Revive back dead Lucario. Their sacrifice brings us up a whole extra team member. They've earned their potioning. The other thing to be mindful of is <clears throat> that it's almost 1.45 fight time, so we want to swap out to the lead whoever is going to be fighting Rival. So she has Fire Cat. Poor Lucha seems like a good counter to start to Fire Cat. Defense booster for rival. Special attack booster almost certainly. Potion up my champ. Baby potion up my champ. Okay, let's go. My horsepower. And again, we're faster than you. She now has Golden Go. Golden Ghoul. And she's triggered our Moxie. Triple Axel. Sorry, Quaza. Only one hit! Oh, that's terrible. Ice Punch. Nice punch. Fire punch. High jump kick. Self miss. Uses up our 
Come back to life, Seed. I don't know what fur coat the hell is fur coat. In Sin Naror. Oh, it's like Fluffy. It's the, the doggo one. Okay. Well, without the fire weakness. Do we get a second Machamp? Yes, because we have the team space and it comes with a karate belt. Stay in the Pokeball. Guts is terrible because that makes us eligible for the stupid, um... The stupid... Toxic Orbs and Garbage. And in fact, both of ours are Guts ones. No, it's bad, Endgamer, because it, it consumes, it fills up your item pool with with them, and I'd rather the other actually rare items, for the most part. Mm. None of these are great. Cross Chop is kind of acceptable. Morrisia. Morrisia. Take the Pity Revive for Holucha. Oof. Morrisia. Are you maybe a never miss one? Surely the third one won't have guts. But it's missing with dynamic punch, which is all the answer we needed. <sighs> bring back Metacham, bring back Lucario. I wouldn't necessarily mind Dig. Dig is definitely better than Scary Face. Well done being faster than us. You aren't faster than this. Boss one. <gasps> Crit! One hit KO! I thought it would live! I thought it would live and I'd get a chance to capture it. Oops. Oops. Take the speed boost. Okay. One of you came with a black belt, which should be on the Metacham. Which is to say, for the moment, on the Horlucha. Oh. I made a guide to fusion for ease of helping. I'm sorry. You gain the first type of the first Mon you select ends gamer, and you select the second, you get the second type of the second Mon if it has a second type. Oh sorry, Ultra Vegito. Otherwise you get its first type. 
And yes, boss the level was probably sharing something actually useful, so we'll give them a permit. There you go. Go again. And you'll be safe. Nugget, we need the money. Passive... Passive Sprite... Come from the first Pokemon, and the first type. Second type, Normal Ability, come from the second Mon, and second type. So how would you order though? Because you're dumb and can't remember already? Well, it depends what you want. And I don't know by heart Arcajulon's order. I don't know whether he's Dragon Steel or Steel Dragon. He's probably Dragon Steel. So you'd want him second. He's Steel Dragon? Well, I'm wrong. I thought he'd be dragon first. He's steel dragon, and Tink is fairy steel. So you're going to either end up with fairy dragon, or... In theory, steel steel. But I don't think it will let that happen. So... I don't know how it works for when they share a type like that. Maybe it just ends up pure steel. I doubt that. I very doubt that though. Yeah, even the little shared thing that was shared doesn't actually tell us that. No, because you can't be Steel Steel, Rolling Ninja. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Uh, they wouldn't give you Double Stab and Quad... Quad Same Weakness. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. I know that it doesn't like work like that in Infinite Fusion. They definitely don't give you double... double the same type in Infinite Fusion. They collapse it down to a single type. Nugget. But the way they fuse in this isn't exactly the same as in Infinite Fusion, for all that it's clearly copied from it using tracing paper. Press that one, crunch the other. Big miss. Now, arguably, maybe I should have gotten rid of one of the armor um, champs for that angry monkey. And good morning, Solar. G'day, Salah. I suspect that if it's gonna... If they both share the 
Like, if it's going to double type, I think it will probably take the secondary type from the first mon first, but I don't know. Nugget, we do need more money. Axel and high jump kick. The game really wants me to replace. Mm, I think it will probably be Steel Dragon. I don't think it will let you convert them into a mono steel. Now, we're looking at replacing one of the Machamps with this. Which Machamp is worse? This one, because apparently it's a special attacking Machamp. Good riddance. Craziness. Special attacking Machamp. Laura 162. Oh, you can have your map. Too late game. I'm not interested. Too bloody late. teach a move to. He can have Outrage, which is fantastic anti-dragon tech. He can have Dragon Karate Chop, which is fantastic anti-dragon tech. Probably you with Angry, to start with. No Swagger, hello Outrage. Flying Presses, because that's the one we're actually running out of at the moment. More Relic Gold. Having enough for three full uh, thingamajigs. Sacred Ashes is lovely. We're definitely not wanting for money. The economy is booming! Ice Punch, or either of those could be okay. I definitely don't want Seismic Toss on you. And I don't need Rage Fist and Shadow Punch. Who's better out of you and the monkey? I prefer the monkey because the monkey is actually sensibly speedy, instead of hideously slow.
Monkey almost got quick enough to beat us, but missed. My horsepower. <laughs> it has two golden lucky eggs and six regular ones. That is a very red Litwick, but not John. No, John, but not Litwick, sorry. Who is next? Probably, I want to say Scrafty with Crunch, but... Jump kick. Jump kick. Jump kick. Meh, you're dead, that's fine. Hadoken. He dies to recoil. No, he holds on. Oh. Sucker punch. Sucker punch. I very much thought that sucker punch would kill. I suppose it's not a ghost anymore. In fairness. Angry monkey. Closer than we would like. The chandelure was full of healing berries. Counter Angry Monkey with Angrier Monkey. Trump, my Angrier Monkey has more points than your monkey. Probably the speed boost. Triple Axel and I guess Double Iron Bash. Yes, it can't, it can't unstatus and it can't eat all your berries that it's stealing either. The game does, Salah. The game has a challenge mode. Uh, would you mind answering the question, Ultra Davido? Ultra Vegito, which way did the typing end up? I too am interested to know. Lash out. It's okay. Slightly worse than crunch. Mm, maybe on the monkey, but the monkey has ghost and that's functionally the same, so no. Take the accuracy boost then. Yeah, they're an in-game set thing, Salah. Think of them as, like, EU4 achievements. Start with Nation X and do Thick Y to unlock the in-game achievement. Complete the normal monotype challenge. Complete the water-only type challenge. Complete the bird one, but we haven't got any of the others done yet. <laughs> Triple Axel. Although so far, fighting attempt two is going well. We're almost up to the league. No, yeah, it would be, it, it's entirely believable that they would be chat challenges, so yeah. But nope, they are an actual in-game mechanic.
Okay, we're gonna actually move the items to where we want them eventually, so... I'm giving... That's gonna hurt. At least you die. I'm giving Medicham the, uh, Karate Boosters. Well, Leech is gonna have to make do with just Moxie. Kept missing its Eternal Beams. Sucks to be it. Big Potion. Certainly makes it easy to win when your opponent doesn't hit you. Triple Axel. Actually, maybe they should be on him because he's getting his moxies and it lets us... No, we did not. Once again, Ultra, v Ultra Vegito, please answer the question. Mm, flying press. And again. Friendship gain? No, nugget. Triple Axel. Horsepower, the Nine Tails, Double Iron Smack, the other thing. Uh, we would love a booster here, but we're not being offered one. Take Dragon Karate Chop from a champ. Yeah, I don't want Seismic Toss. Okay, Flying Press is reasonable. Moxie Triggers. This looks like it's going to be a fairly straightforward one. Between Moxie and the three Karate Boosters. I think we can just run over the top even with non-super effective moves now. Yeah. Very good. Yes, Salah. This is... We are fighting gym, gym trainer. We aren't allowed to use anything that doesn't have fighting. Mm. Scrafty might not mind uh, healing punch instead of bullet punch. And maybe getting rid of Sucker Punch on you. Yeah, I think you're quick enough that you don't really need Sucker Punch. Oof. What do you mean, Salah? The very first gym leader, Brock, has nothing but double-typed mons. Nothing. Nothing but double-typed mons. Uh, Ice Punch for Metacham. 
So there is no you're you're inventing old days that don't exist. High jump kick. Both of Brock's things are ground rock. Ground rock. Misty at least somewhat respects being water type. Star you, water. Goldeen, water. Flying press. But then she breaks the rule by having star me. Flying press. Erica's gym, most of her things are double poison because only Tangler is pure grass. Sabrina is mostly pure psychic. At least that's true. Lieutenant Surge is pure electric. That's reasonably true. Koga is poison, bug, and poison, and ghost? No, and flying, because he has, like, Golbat, Crobat stuff. Giovanni is ground and whatever he feels like. Many poisons, some rock. That's about it. No, Giovanni is like Rhyhorn. Weird looking Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn back when Rhyhorn looked really, really weird. Gen 1 Rhyhorn sprite is crazy. Nido Queen, Nido King, Kangas Can, and something else is Gen 1 Giovanni eventually. Yeah, look at crazy original Rhyhorn. Original Rhyhorn looks so weird! Its face is all different. Its face is so different to modern Rhyhorn. And it only has two legs, so I wondered how it, like, how did it balance? It looks like it's, like, a huge... Thing that's gonna fall over because it's only got two legs for for running around on. Uh, no, we bother re-rolling. Ugh, that's getting expensive, but I want the bonus. Dire hit, let's go. Don't you dare trigger static. Duxman. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll respect you enough to go for the jump kick. And then her token, you. Looks like a Steelix. No, it it looks like a, like the top of a a shell with two weird legs instead of four legs. It really doesn't have appropriate legs for its body. Oh, the head. Yeah, a bit, a bit. So yeah, it's got a horn and a sort of flat rocky head with eyes to the side. Boop
Okay. Revive back Horlucha. Heal up Lucario. Look at anything that needs ethering. Which is Flying Press. Otherwise, we are good to go. Reroll one. Two, but that's about the limit. Speed boost. Double Iron Bash you. And I think we're faster and just show that we can kill. Oh, that's probably not going to kill. And then you probably kill on the return sweep. Yes. Or Lucha, go get revenge. I am going to say we probably need to jump kick you. We don't have enough moxies under our belt. Now we probably have enough moxies under our belt. No, just a terrestrialized one. It's been Hyper Giga Super Giganto Maxo crystallized. Baby potion for you. EXP all. Yeah, I wouldn't mind more flying presses. Take the attack boost. So we have speed boost, attack boost, crit boost. Triple axle the dragon. Good. And a Moxie. Yeah, don't stress it. He's unsteel type Sir Bridgington, so Triple Axel is. Weak to our ice skating. Big miss. But it's a special attacking Haxorus, so it does nothing. Poor idiots. Triple Axel Turtle Dragon. Mm. Dragon Pulse Turtle Dragon. It held on with one hit point. Oh. Metacham, Ice Punch. Nice punch. Thankfully it's not Steel Gudra. Nice punch. <laughs> I want the die hit, but I also want the relic gold. Uh, bring back Lucario, bring back Hawlucha. I will take the relic gold. Ice Punch is fine. We have an Ice Booster, so it's better than Fire fire Punch. Probably Speed Boost Macham. Metacham, he could definitely stand to be that little bit quicker. It is the Great Leon. High Jump Kick. Oh, you rat bastard. Fire Punch. Metacham, one hit KOs. Beautiful. Mmm. Ice Punch. I do not have... Actually, I do have Flying. Sucks to be you. Triple Axel is fine. Okay, his Legendary was easily dispatched. Can we get our Moxie up? So now Flying Press is probably all we need. Hail Mothman Tristan. Welcome, welcome. Triple Axel. Goodbye, Crystallized Dragapult. 
Ultra Mega Giga Hyper Giant Charizard. There's a setting to get even more music variety. Give me high jump kick. Triple Axel. Triple Axel. Sucks to be Leon. He is not the great Leon. He is the kind of crappy Leon. Triple Axel. Yeah, quite an easy champion. Not complaining. Better than a champion that drains all our money. Heal up. It's a bit late for the Grip Claw to be of use. I think, I genuinely think I'm better off re-rolling for boosters. Like bonus accuracy, so that I can just go nuts with high jump kick. <laughs> my, my brain was, oh, there's a red thing. You want the red thing? No, the Pokeballs aren't useful. Speed boost, yes. Triple Axel. Triple Axel. Reroll. It really wants me to have Grip Claw. Attack boost. Flying press is fine. So speed boost, accuracy boost, attack boost, crit. See, here is what I was talking about where your, your list of good items gets filled up with garbage. Now, in theory, we should give this to Machamp. Because rather than losing stats from being burnt with guts, he instead increases his attack. No, it, but it's a semi-buff, right, Ends Gamer? And for a lot of mons where you've got Facade as one of their egg moves, especially at the start, you don't want you don't want these because they will be costing you poison and poison and burn healing. You still take damage, you just don't at least the last I knew, you still take damage. But um you don't get the attack down. The poison and flame still burn you. Right? The poison still ticks at end of turn and the burn still ticks at end of turn. At least last I knew. Have they changed how Guts works? Maybe they've changed how Guts works. Yeah, having a status condition boosts its attack stat. And let's see what, uh... Evilopedia thinks. Just because it's convenient, not because it's good. The attack boost from Guts no longer activates if the Pokémon is frozen and uses a move that thaws it out, such as Flame Wheel or Flare Blitz. No, yeah, so you do still suffer from the burn, and my objection to these is that if you're going to use them, you have to pay for a lot of healing for them. And... Healing is, yeah... Ugh. So, do I take this, or do I take the dire hit for the rival fight? All mons have higher chance of critting versus one mon has slightly higher attack. I think that's better, but I'm going to take this.
Okay. High horsepower. Goodbye, Goldigo. One for nothing. Moxie triggers. Ice skating time. One, two, three. Fantastic. Nice crit. It's using Outrage. Who has our best physical defense? The champ. But Lucario is Dragon, a Steel, and therefore resists and has Dragon Pulse. Okay, not very effective still kills. That's a bit disastrous. Hmm. And they were our second fastest, right? So if they aren't faster than it, nothing else is going to be. Misses from jump kick. I accept our death. I'm not taking bonus damage on the switch in. Now, who do we use? I'll go with the monkey. Angry monkey. Somehow faster than the red whales are. I'm not going to complain. He does fantastic damage to the dragon. And kills the other dragon. Closer than we would like, but success. Three dead, we don't even need a Sacred Ash. Ether up any moves that need it. Maybe jump kick? No, nothing really needs it. <laughs> We're rich enough to re-roll for... Almost everyone is a physical attack and not a special. I don't want the special attack boost here. No. One more, but then that's the limit of my money. Accuracy boost. That lasts all the way to... The Eternatus fight. My jump kick. And you're still being an angry monkey. You swap out, become Holucha. Jump kick again. Yes, score more Pokeballs. Heal up Medicham. We roll. I don't need another accuracy booster. I already have one. So again. Dire hit will do. Critting is extra good against boss man because it bypasses his defense ups. Speed boost. High horsepower. Ow, they commit suicide though. Potion. We roll. Defense booster. My horsepower. So what's gonna go away? We've got a dire hit. We've got an accuracy. We've got a defense. We've got a speed. Another special defense wouldn't be terrible. We can be immune to deletion beam. Check that nothing needs ethering. Arguably triple axel. But 
but that's really it. Okay. Who do I want to lead with? Not really you. I think I'd rather lead with Infernape. Angry Dragon. Okay, good. Second hit increments high and does two health bars. I don't like all those stat ups. But oh well. Ice Bunch. Oh, that did nothing. Deletion Cannon did absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, our attacks are doing not much either because of those defense boosts. Monkey, swap away. Become Lucario. Why did you die, friend? I don't get why Annihilate died. Oh well, whatever. More Lucha, Ice Skate time. Dragon Pulse, it doesn't have bonus. Oh, did it get poisoned by one of the cross chops? Maybe. I might not have been paying enough attention. In any case, victory. If I had have swapped out the monkey, it would have been a victory without any... Any losses. Nice. I know Kung Fu. Fighting type challenge complete. And thank you, THX. Welcome, welcome. Okay. We've won, etc. Congratulations! Riolu won for the first time. Scraggy won for the first time. Metatite won for the first time. But we'd already won with Mega Machamp. Okay.